It's on. Alright. Nice game, bro. Oxen free, bros. We're gonna start this right and now. After we do an option. Uh, English window resolution. It's okay. Is there a mouse? I mean, uh, there is. Excellent. I'll use this. Wait, let me see the sound. Is there any sound? Disable effects. Subtitles, yes. Disable effects, no. Uh, what, what is this guy bound inside of? Ew, okay. Uh, okay. I guess we're playing this, bros. That's it. You ready? Boop. It used nice. to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Ooh. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. My mind. Mission working. control to Alex. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves I'm and a girl. listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Um, something about Bird Island or pancakes. I don't know. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, oh, I can not, move. Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people... He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So? Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Eh, I guess she can't yeah, hear... Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. And if you picked up a complimentary Uh, so, how do you... It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their yeah, way. let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. 
Come on, Alex, join the fun. Okay. They're great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so That's don't weird. worry. I like it. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mile from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head <laughs> since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Well, that's weird. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. An interesting start for a game. A very interesting start for a game. Okay, that's my picture. Make sure with my buddies. Did it. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Okay. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me... When the flag is flying, we are... funny. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Hmm. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh, it's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Hmm. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. 
Okay. Ah, I it's an interesting it's in game. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. One but maybe Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've under never the heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 20th, anyway. It was sunk by the ship. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service. Okay. Let me check something. Can I like reduce the sound or anything? No option for uh, what is that? Photos? Shit! No photos. Okay. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They <laughs> literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but... I'm blanking on what it was, but it- Oh. Damn. For guide to or tune to. It's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior- I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible. No way. Come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, God. Whatever. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the wood. Damn, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives, it's the dream. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? 
Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't <laughs> mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Um, okay. Well, that's nice, we're jumping over fences already. We're criminals. Uh, 9 p.m. Okay. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino <laughs> effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I... Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. This is a walking simulator or a talking simulator. It's nice. It's a nice story. It's still in the beginning. Looks like a nice story. About nothing yet. I have no idea. Good voice acting. That's for sure. Woo. Mm. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, oh, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. 
I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're gonna- I'll start. Brent. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something Isn't like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay. It's Wren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think <laughs> about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot. I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. I'd probably marry Clarissa. <laughs> okay, why? Right there. I mean, why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch! Redheads are like the... <sighs> uh, just to make you mad. And to get half of your stuff in the divorce. Ugh, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh God, this is such a horrible turn. And wait, wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. <laughs> hey, so I made the choice. Alex's turn? Yep, ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man. Marissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation. What are you talking about? What is this even what does this have to do with anything? Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not going to let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be Pouty. Thank you. 
cheese. <laughs> if you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Okay. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. My turn! Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> come on, I'll push oh, you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, So, he, uh, the cave. They What's your bets? On a scale carnival? of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? I don't know. A 1? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so... Adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Bros, 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 it was an absolutely pleasure to have played this game together today and so many games. It was enjoyable. Thank you so much for being here. You're absolutely amazing. Please, please do follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube and definitely follow me on Twitter where I announce all of my uh, giveaways and I announce whenever I'm going live for streaming. Bros, you're amazing. Thumbs up for you. Definitely want to see you back again in my next gameplay. Bye-bye, Star Wars Guns. Bye-bye. All right.